Well, today we're going to recover this device, which has a screen lock and also a forgotten Gmail account. What are we going to do? Well, this method is completely PC free. There are many methods to recover our device. But today we're going to use a completely different method. We're going to use a different method without a PC. We have it in the video description and in the comments. Methods also different from this EH for those people who want. To release our video early we recommend that you have the subscription. So that you can uh enjoy our videos many days before what are. We going to do to be able to recover our device well, let's. Go let's go connect what is to a Wi-Fi network we connect to the Wi-Fi network and. But first before entering the process we are going to explain and we are going to give you. The tour of our device since it has this. Screen lock pin also finally it has the. Forgotten Gmail account what are we going to do to be able to recover our device well. What we are going to do is the following let's go watch the video. Tutorial step by step to be able to have solutions. We go back, we go back, back again. Back and we go here where it says policy and privacy. What are we going to do here? Well, we are going to click where it says clear, we click. Where it says click and now we are going to wait for this Xiaomi logo to appear. We are going to click where it says MI. We're going to click here, we're going to wait for all those options to load. After it loads we're going to click on these three lines that appear here. Then we're going to click there, we're going to. Click here, we're going to click where it says start with Google account. We're going to select that option, what are we going to do here? Well, in some cases, we may click on these two. Options outside, inside, outside, inside, outside, inside, outside. Inside there and we'll click here where it says share, but there are some. Devices that suddenly don't let you see this option where it says. To add what is the Google account, if you don't get this option to add. The Google account, then you're going to go back. We're going to go back and you're going to click here. You're going to click here and click here. You're going to see this option in red. You're going to see. This option in red here. So you click on it, you click. On the option in red at the top. Option in red and above and as you can see, we're going to click here. It says share. Now what are we going to do? We're going to look for this option that says message, we. Click where it says new message, here we're going to write any message. It doesn't matter, we select it, we select that message. Here we're going to delete everything that appears here. We're going to delete it, what are we going to do now? Well, here we're going to put everything in lowercase. In lowercase and we're going to write www, YouTube. But we're not going to do what we did before, we're going to do a totally different method. That's why we were saying this method is totally different. We're going to click here it says load. Then we give it the YouTube option and now. What we're going to do is here it seems that it took us. Well yes it takes you. It seems that it took us, it took us forward but where we're going to go. We're going to go to Google Chrome. We're going to activate it then we're going to activate it. We click on it, we click here where it says activate. We select it again and we've already activated it. It's already activated, what we're going to do is draw a letter L backwards. We click here, double click. A letter L backwards, now we're going to deactivate the save. 
We click on it again here in YouTube. It's letting us in. Well as it took us what it is. To Google Chrome but we're not looking for that. So what we're going to do is click the little cross here and we're going to select. The Google Map option since we click here on locate and the location will appear. The location will appear but what we're going to do is select. The location and click send here where it says send we click on send now go. To load the location we are going to click here the location so that it does not take. What the application itself is. The application itself already takes it, but what do we need? We need to click here on the little arrow. We're going to click it again so that it gives us this icon. In some cases it doesn't give it up sometimes but it gives it down in some devices. But we're going to select this icon. This icon we're going to give it here where it says configuration in conference. What we're going to do is where it says location of settings. This is what we're going to select here we're going to give it first here where it says. Application permission it shows us all the applications we're going to click here. Where it says see more we click here where it says show system here it would show us. What the Google Play services are we're going to click on it and we're going. To disable it this is what we're going to do we disable the action of Google. From Google services. Now what are we going to do? We're going to restart our device. We restart it. This is a new method that I have been able to do for those. Devices that EH have to go into settings. Previously we entered what was the configuration. But at this point I have already updated what this. Method is without having to use what is the AP application. App or setting or what is that application. Of ad activity EH well let's wait a few seconds until it. Finishes restarting our device as we were commenting from. The beginning of the video we have the members session for those people. Who want to join our community also want to see our. Tutorial videos privately and we have that section. Now what are we going to do well? Let's get there, let's. Click here next, we're going to click next. But yes or yes we have to get to this section. Let's wait for it to load here it will give us an option that says do not copy. Let's wait for that option until it arrives. Well here it is loading and as we are going to wait for it to. Load the option here that says do not copy to. Then give it the following configurations. That is why we always recommend watching the video tutorial step by. Step until the end to be able to solve what this problem is. Also what happens when we recover our device. At the end of the video we are going to leave a method. EHI say at the end of the video we are going to correct some errors since our device does not stay stuck. That stays stuck, it leaves us EH move the screen, or any of the cases. When we already add the account and add the screen lock. Sometimes it tells us that the application has stopped and how are we going to correct those errors. Well watching the video tutorial step by step until the end, here we already arrived. We click here where it says do not copy, here. It will stay and you can see it stays here. Now what we are going to do is go back. Back, we are going to double click back. We return it back, back, we arrive here where it says policy and privacy. We arrive here, we are going to wait for it to load. We are going to click the green letter again, now we click again. Where it says Xiaomi, where the Xiaomi mic logo is. Now what else are we going to do? Well, we are going to click here on the three lines. We click where it says log in. 
We are going to click where it says log in and we are going to do the same process. Up, down, since it is in the red letters. When the red letters are enabled we are going to click on the red letter and when starting session here. In says account we select what we need nothing more. Is this option where it says share. Now what we are going to locate is what is Gmail. We locate Gmail, we click here on skip, we click here on enable. Now we enable Google services, they are already enabled. We return them back, back. But this is not over yet, what are we going to do? Well, we are going to get to where our Wi-Fi networks are. We click here, we click on next, we click here, we click on next. Here we are going to get to the Wi-Fi networks and we are going to click here where it says forget. Well, what do we have to do? Here we do not have to have any SIM card, insert it in our phone to be able to recover it. We do not have any SIM card, we disable the other uh, Wi-Fi. Now we are going to click here where it says skip, we click on skip, we click on more, we click on accept, we click on skip here, we are going to wait for our device. Now we are going to click here, we click here. We click next, we click skip. We click next and what are we going to do? As we were telling you that our devices are left with some errors and how are we going to correct it? Well we are going to explain how to correct those errors. Those errors. We are going to wait for it to finish there and then make the following configurations. As you can see, you are guided step by step as we are explaining to you. You will have the solution so you will be able to recover your device correctly. We are going to wait for it to take us to start so we can correct the error that we were telling you. Well now it says that it is completed. We are going to click next here, that easy and simple. We have recovered our device, it is totally ready, well uh. What are we going to do to correct the error that we had told you? Well we are going to go to what is settings. Here in settings we are going to look for what is about the phone. We select about phone. We click on factory reset here we click where it says reset everything. What are we going to do? We are going to delete all that information so that. When the device restart let's do the same process of skipping all. The settings faster and you will have an error free device. Know if our videos work for you subscribe. Activate the bell, like it, share it and leave a good comment.